Listen up. Look at all the people. <laughs> I love it. What the heck? What the heck? Who? I <laughs> oh, I'll check in a moment. I'm just checking out all the bracket stuff. My goodness, what are you doing? The one thing that is a bit more difficult is that it's not as easy to check to do check-ins as it used to be on Boss because of the fact that it was just a lobby full of the people who you were looking at. One of the things that we won't be able to stream the Discord chat, I mean we could stream the Discord chat, but it probably won't be as big as it used to be. Um, due to like in 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 the way of like the the conversational sort of standard we used to have on Puyo Plus. That that's why that is one thing that I'll game's probably a bit loud actually. Let me turn it down. Hopefully that's better. Um, but yeah, because of the way that uh it's structured now, it might be a bit less of that. But we'll figure it out. Elite, thank you for the sub. My goodness, welcome, welcome. Lots of love to you. And then, welcome, it is tournament time, diamonds, hello, arms hurt, hopefully you feel better soon, minus, welcome. No, they're not good enough to play, but any metric is not a fun experience, it's Taiko, I see, I see. <laughs> Yo, welcome everybody. Um, if you guys have ever caught a tournament stream from me, you'll notice I'm probably not too loud, because it's like 2.30am, so, you know, not that loud. Um, so I'll do my best to keep the commentary exciting, regardless. But if you're wondering why I've got like my inside voice in on, it's because uh quiet <laughs> for for our uh, two thirty AM. So that's fun. Dummy welcome, lecture, hey yo. David, hey. It's alright to be nervous. Everybody is uh just like a lot of people are just joining for this tournament for the first time. Um so that'd be good regardless of who you are or where you come from. Sound super tired? I hope I don't sound too tired. It maybe putting on this voice makes me sound more tired, but like I I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. Um I just hope the is the audio balance okay? I <laughs> to be fair, I, I napped for like an hour and a half. I usually I usually nap for a bit and then I do this and then I go back to sleep. So usually I end up pretty tired on these days, but um, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? I want people to be able to experience these things, and in order to do so, if it takes a bit of sacrifice for me, for a community to grow, I think it's a hundred percent worth it. <laughs> I think it's a hundred percent worth it. Um, okay. I'm gonna have a look at the participants now to see how many people have not checked in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Go maple and Twinkie. Gosh, thank you for the host lecture. Um, okay. Hold on a minute, let me just scroll through. So now this uh rank 70k and still playing a few days in. Nice, nice. The update, yeah, my switch broke right before the announcement. Dang, that's unfortunate. I wonder if I have to do back bracket management from mobile as well as an additional thing. Because right now it is a bit laggy having a the browser up. It usually is, but it's because it's usually because I'm playing on Puyo Versus. It's like, oh, we're watching from Puyo Versus. It's fine. Fortunate time for you, yeah. But oh, uh, Elo, hello. Brackets not live just yet. We usually wait a little bit just in case we have some late check-ins and such. Um, <laughs> we call it tournament standard time. Um, start five to ten minutes late. I just want to double check that everybody is in before before we do any booting. Yeah, people who've forgotten to download the update and such. Maple, Twinkie, Goat, Error, and Mina Linsky. Golly. Um, for anyone who's playing in the lower pools, um, we do have S2 streaming though, so if you want to have a look on his side of things, you'll be able to, he'll be running between different brackets. I don't think this is going to be a usual thing, um, but this time around, he is going to be around to help out, so, um, yeah, that's a, that's an alternative in case you're looking for those, those things. Oops, it's good and dark. Um, part of the tournament, I don't know how things are going to work, it's all good, as long as you pay attention to the chat chats, you should be a-okay. Ushi, please help. It's okay, I'll help. No requirements for being in the high skill level pools. Um, when you check in, to, when you look at the bracket description, it will give you a brief description of kind of what we expect to be in that, sk in that skill pool and um, an estimate rating as well. So hopefully that should help you identify where to go. Hurry now. Yep, that's right, Alexis. Thank you. Welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. Intermediate, I thought of visiting here if my friend's fashion would be shown in here. Yeah, sounds good. Late check in, it's all good. That's why we're waiting a bit. Tend to send to tournament one day, but I gotta at least learn how to harass and hellfire better. Hey, I mean, remember that these are less so tournaments and that and they're more like just gatherings. Um So you can absolutely still join like advanced uh if 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 mid game is where you're struggling then advanced pool is probably where you're at. <laughs> because at that level pe most people are still trying to chain high. Ips and Shroud lose? Hey, you can do your best to be in the future already. It's great, isn't it? Oh, I don't have my Ethernet cable connected. Well, it's a good thing. It looks like I don't have any um, lag due to uh, internet. But the bitrate's fine, luckily. But I'll have to remember to plug it in <laughs> in the morning. Or like tomorrow. Into advanced pool? Right, checked in. Awesome, awesome. We'll start in a minute.
Okay, I'll probably do bracket management for my phone after the tournament has started. Um, but for the actual management beforehand, I'll do it on here. Just to be safe. I just... Why is that my recents? Where can I find the ranking requirements? I just tend to see where I would fall. Uh, let's see here. It is on the actual page for the event, so you can find that here. Sneezing at a time like this. <laughs> How could I? Thanks for the follow, by the way. Minus. All right. giving out a final call and if people are not around then they get the boot. <laughs> um Advanced pool? Yeah, I figured so too. Quapo We have us two skin, right? This is so fancy now. Bless you, thank you. <laughs> It's it's the evolution. It's real. or 24 checked in five rounds awesome just gonna make sure Start the tournament and oh my gosh, phone is a bit goofy. Oh, 
I misspelled Isopy's name. Isopy and Wolfflame are what we're looking for. Alright, we begin. Try to scroll dunk on people? Good. Scroll dunk on people? Yes, please. All the puppy research, please. Didn't expect to be in advance? There you go. <laughs> Did you see sales boosted by 100% after gummy boys were added? Yes, that sounds about right. Alright, I want to reset the capture in case things explode. Alright, I have to go through the spectator and everything. Forgot. <laughs> oh. Wait, hold on, is this the right one? Okay, let's reactivate and deactivate the capture. Or deactivate and reactivate, rather. Okay. Who am I fighting? Um, you'll have to check your... 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 your bracket thingy. Your bracket list. Um, if you need a bit of communication with the people you can it's check that within time. your within the associated discord let's channel rock. all right let's have a look and see how these two do it this looks so cool my goodness all right both players going for gtr looks like so he's got a little more going on in the back end right now nice nice Okay, Will has actually got a bit more development going on at the moment. Um, go for a two-chain attack, but Will does have more going on at the moment. He has a six-chain. Yeah, so PGT was not yet complete, or the transition space was not complete yet, so there's that. How do I even... Work the spectator mode. Ah, you choose a side. Oh, and then you can deactivate and reactivate the log as well, that's cool. And then ZRs for the um, cheering. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. We'll keep that up. Um, okay, so, we're going pretty well at the moment. Sophie's got a bit of an awkward back side. No, no, looking good now, looking good. Um, Will with a very nice two double, goodness. Playing aggressive, eh? Um, no follow up just yet. Didn't clear the yellows of the, I mean, sorry, the greens. Oh, there you go. Because the greens now to respond. Uh, so he's going for main chain now. Will is still responding. He's going to need a couple more different colored clues in order to finish this and actually get an extension off. Oh, missed up there. But, um, wasn't able to get the greens off in time, so that's one thing. That's 1 1 now. This potato update is so nice. It's first 10, yes. Actually, if it's eSports mode 2, they always wanted Absolutely. This looks wonderful. I love it so much. You'll be alright, Spring. Just give it your all. Alright, so it looks like Sophie's got the more developed base this time around. Uh, building up on top of the transition. Nice, nice, nice. Um, looks like Will is having a little more trouble there. Since one chain, a little bit of damage there, not too much. Um, considering Sophie's position. Ooh, looks like it's went for main chain. Mm, but not such a bad choice considering Four. Will is not Five. as developed Six. in his chaining board at the moment, Seven. but he does have a build. Alright, an A chain from Sozu. Let's see. Three. Four. A 6 from Will. Come on, yo! A nice follow up for chain from 
sweet. That's another point. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so the details turn into L shape on the left side. You see into a Y joint on the right side. Will that turn into an avalanche? Yeah. That is my question. It's always an important question. Ooh, okay. If that yellow is not put in column 5, it will not tail. Uh, so he's got a very nice L shape going on back there, though. I do appreciate seeing One. that. It's One. always good. It's two. not just L shape into the 2-2 two -two stairs that you mostly see. Oh, Will with a 2 chain. Two. Oh, so he with a nice two. response. Very much of an appropriate response there. Very nice One. to see. Another 2 chain from Will. <laughs> they are poking a fair amount here. Alright, Will doesn't have direct access to main chain unless he, yeah, he uses that yellow red. But, so he's going for this extension? No, okay, quits out of it. Uh, back end of the chain is not finished yet though. So, unfortunately, the 7 against an 8. You need a green and a blue there in order to have enough. A green to survive and a green and a blue in order to actually counter. Should be uh, a standard monthly format? Yes. Okay. Only one change just to clean up. Oh boy, going for the ore flick, going for the ore flick, going for the ore flick. Alright. Will needs to get those yellows down. Nice. Gets the full chain as well. Yeah, it's a fair amount of power in it. Oh, you're good. Stop that. Wow, three lines plus one there. Very nice work there. Good counter. Okay, the one chain. The one chain. Will takes the all clear damage. So be continuing to pressure. Looks like they're both in a bit of an awkward spot at the moment. Okay. Two from Will. Two from Ice Soapy. And now the two from ISOB. And Will looks like they have a four chain ready. One. Very nice. One, two, three. Oh, they cut the yellow. Making a three. <laughs> Meaning that both sides had a three chain. Still very even. No distinct One. advantage here. Two. two chain from Will. A bit of a disturbance for Soapy in this case. Soapy just needs some reds now. Uh, maybe not what they're going for. Ah, uh, okay, never mind. I see, I see, I see. It's a 4 chain from Sophie. Will not quite preparing anything. Oh, jeez, never mind. That's a 7. <laughs> very, very nice. Sophie with the decisive chain to finish up the opponent. As long as you try your best, that's what matters, that's right. Ooh, golly. Okay, so Will's got a bit of a, an unsafe base going on there with the three reds, but um, if they're careful, they'll be all right. It's just it's just always scary to see. Um, so he's got a pretty nice chain going on at the moment. The back end of the chain doesn't tell unless they have a purple that sticks up. Yes, nice. They did put the purples there. Now they just have to have a way to set off their chain. Will with another attack. <laughs> um, oh, must be Will. Let's drop some Will there. They were mishandled enough, but they, with that misdrop, they had wasted too much time and too many resources. Unfortunate the dig. The dig was wild, wasn't it? <laughs> it was good stuff to see. Very epic. Very epic gaming. Just so gonna quickly check up on how everyone is doing in advanced. Awesome. Awesome. It looks like everyone's doing well. Um. Okay, so at the moment, it looks like, once again, even match. Will doing some more cleanup again. Ooh, okay. In in this sort of position, it is a bit difficult to to make things work on Soapy's board. You need three purples. Will, on the other hand, does only need a couple of pieces. Oh, goes for a three chain attack. Soapy goes for the main chain in response to that. Uh, Will is oh, committing to a bit much there. If they'd been a little faster, they would have gotten the red and the yellow that was coming up, but um, otherwise, yeah, that's too much of commitment. Yeah, it's alright, Spring. It's okay. <laughs> Just gonna do your best. Alright, let's see. 
Oh, similar stuff from both sides. Always interesting to see. Not sure what Soapy's gonna do back there. Or oh, Will. Looks like they both got very disconnected builds. Okay, Soapy made a walk. Looking nice. Ooh, yeah. ooh. Will with the very early attack. Oh my god. I forgot about the switches, like, darkening. Hey, we actually have to pay attention to that, hey? Alright, another two double from Will. Lots of aggression. And it's working out. Alright. Will takes another started. point. Very cheeky. <laughs> Okay. Let's see. Both players not opting to finish their transition just yet, so they're both in a bit of a similar position. Oh, I said because of the rush. Considering Will didn't have any reds connected on th the back of his chain, yeah, unless he'd broke a light pant. Good decision there. Alright, so we now just needs to go for a finishing move. Nice three chain there. Will does not have anything to respond with in this case. Right, so Soupy takes the game. Chonky chain, chonky chain. Turn off scre uh, screen burn and switch when you're doing TO. Yeah, I'll definitely remember that for next time. I just completely forgot about the fact that that was a thing that exists. <laughs> I'll just have to wiggle the stick every now and then. Right, Spectator mode is so pretty. Look at this. <laughs> okay, so about even on both sides once again. These guys are pretty good at developing their builds um, pretty evenly. So uh, they're both finished their finishing their bases and working on second floor. Will has got a bit of an awkward position, so if Sophie sets us off right now, there's going to be a bit of pressure on Will's side. Oh, we're we'll going for the two chain. Bit of a clean up move. Soapy not responding with too much, interestingly enough. They're going to need a blue to just to set off their chain for now. Uh, if they dump too many purples though, their chain might cut. Oh, 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 goodness. I don't know what happened there. This is a bit of a scare position. <laughs> you know, Will does have main chain ready. Oh, doesn't opt to go for setting off using the red blue. These guys are playing a risky. <laughs> Alright. Oh, Will going for the three chain. Jeez, that's that's a super aggressive attack. Ah, Soupy. Going for main chain now. Very nice battle. If Will can actually do get something out of this exchange, then he's gonna win, but it doesn't look like there's a way to easily access main chain, unfortunately. Good attacks, but if you don't um, make use of the attacks by then extending on your chain soon afterwards, um, usually lose the advantage you would have gotten from it. That's always a tricky thing to deal with. Alright, something different from Will's side, interestingly enough. Um, okay, so we're going for the quick two chain. One, two, a nice little poke. Oh. Yeah, long G's have from Will's side. One. Um, so we opting to go for more pressure. Two, Nice three chain. Three chain from Will. Receives a line of garbage. There's a lot of blues, but uh, he just needs a couple yellows to finish chain, so that's a destruction from Soapy there. Uh, five chain. It's gonna be an off now. Yeah. What time is it? It's 2:58 a.m. Woohoo! <laughs> Bit of a funky time, but you know, gotta do what you gotta do. Another point for Will there. Alright, both with the usual GTR star, we'll opt in to go for the transition a bit more. But Soapy ultimately ending up with a bit of a cleaner build. The purples could have gotten 5-6 for it to be a bit cleaner here. Um, makes, yeah, make sure that you don't end up powering with the back of your chain there, because that tends to happen. Um, but overall, it looks like Soapy's in a bit of a posi better position here, unless Will actually goes for an attack this time around. I think he was planning to, but then he didn't. So that was interesting. <laughs> Alright. So if you're going for uh, not main chain, but instead a small attack since the keep wheel wasn't in place just yet. Two needs to follow up with main chain afterwards. All good. C considering Will's position meant that he wasn't able to dig easily. 
getting late. Nah, I, uh, I, what I have to do for each of these is I nap a bit before the tournament, and then I wake up for it, and then I go back to sleep. <laughs> so, that's my story. Yeah, good follow-ups there, very good follow-ups there. Going for main chain after they're, um, in a position where you've basically disabled them from reaching main chain is always good because it, like, digging through three lines one, usually two, one, three, is more difficult four, or, like, takes one, long enough that six, by the time the opponent's main chain resolves, you're usually dead and it's most likely you won't have been able to extend your chain as well during that time because you wasted so much digging. So even if you get the dig, often you'll have less resources anyway. So that's an important thing to consider. Yeah, first attempts. First attempts and five rounds. Usually five. There can be four sometimes if there's not many players, but uh, we like to go for five most of the time. Alright, interesting from both sides. Um, I think Sophie does have a little more on the base than Will. Oh, opting to go main chain now. Will just needs to get the yellows in place. Just needs yellow, just needs yellow. Gets the yellow. Alright, nice six from Sophie. Will also with a six chain. Will be enough. Will does not have enough in this case. Sophie with a nice uh, two chain. Following up. Got to get a decisive hit in right now to finish off Will. Yeah, Will goes one chain. Usually that tends to be what happens when they're stuck at the top. <laughs> oh, nice two chain there. But I see we have a three double here. And that'll finish the set. GG's. So he takes the win here. Dang, is that so dummy? Oh, wow! You get... You get... Ooh, that's so cool. That's so cool. Oh my goodness. You get re you get stats for both sides. Yo, GG. G G yeah, struggle fight. Absolutely. When you're fighting at the top there it can become very difficult. Okay. Yeah, that's alright, dummy. <laughs> that's alright, dummy. Um, since Expert only had two registrants, usually it has like eight or so. But um, it's like all the French players are on holiday right now or something. Because <laughs> most it's usually mostly populated by French players. Um, but yeah. Let's have a look at the bracket now. Um, oh my gosh, why is the mobile interface so bad? I have like no room to actually do anything on this because the brackets show up within a tiny space. This is so bad. <gasps> Who thought this was a good idea? Maybe I can just go on desktop site on my phone. Boom. Yeah, you know what? That's that is so good. Okay, never mind. It's not good now. <laughs> it decided to explode. What do you mean? It looked perfect for a moment. That looks so good. Let me look at this desktop site. Oh, it brings me to it and then it says the page is in here. I'm like, you're lying to me. You are lying to me. This is evil. Hello? All the struggles of not having a super duper crazy good hardware. A a good hardware, yeah, great. Good 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 job, you I know. Great English. Keyboard acting up. Oh no, fuck it up, Well, hi, hi, hi. Belly Player Chronicle, but I think I'm Marisol me now. Good choice, good choice. Uh, Pokedog, thank you for the raid. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the bonus monthly. Hello, Rashiran, by the way. Let's do a proper expert bracket again one day. 
who needs to work on his cuts, I believe. Yeah, he has a good attack game, which is interesting to see in advanced. But um, also just needs to work on making sure the main chain is completely finished as well. Debug, welcome as well. Can't understand Puyo, I understand Mino. <laughs> fair, fair, fair. Oh my gosh, where's the bracket now? now? Now the bracket doesn't even show up for me. Oh my god, my goodness. Maybe I just have to open up my laptop anyway. I don't think it'll lag during the gameplay, right? Yeah, okay, you know what? I give up I'm trying to use my phone. <laughs> Hope more expert players show up next time, hopefully. Hopefully. Finish or secure, a lot of chains cut because of color conflicts. I did see that there were some very risky decisions. Um, like, I did point out the fact that if you have a link where you have... It, it's the whole, like, one, three stairs sort of thing, where if you have one Puyo and then you've got three Puyos on top of it, which I meant to link up with the next link, that's too risky. <laughs> At that point, you're, you're asking too much from yourself. Um, to maintain a stable enough chain that you will not have any garbage that will fall on top of that three, and it's so scary. So, so scary. Um, okay, I want to go ahead and open the advanced pool. Yep. Hope they make the mobile interface a little nicer than that. That was terrible. <laughs> oh, I think the bracket's just broken. Nope, never mind. It just <laughs> took a moment. Alright. So at the moment, oh, I can probably restore report score for. Uh, ten to Dan. Right, I'll report that score. One ten. So at the moment, we're just waiting on um, Spring and Hiku to play. Oh, I'm only getting 2.2% encoding lag now. Oh, wait, but that's because of all the frames I had earlier. Whoops. Five colors. Five colors is scary. <laughs> Just wish they had the capability to actually let you join in the middle of a match. Even if it meant, like, waiting for the... Like with three of us, where you had to wait for one round to finish before you could join. At least have it, like, load so that you can, like join when the match starts, or when the, when the round starts, it'd be nice in that way, but unfortunately this is the system that we have to work with for now. That's probably the main complaint, I'd imagine. Go through the modding channel in the PPC Discord, I'm gonna get back into modding soon, and now I'm really curious about the Valkyrie Owl stuff people found, very interesting to see that it existed. Uh, Makes you think, makes you wonder what Sega were going to do. Yeah, he was a very strong player. All right, round two. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Um, that was awkward. Three ten to Hiku. Good effort, though. Spring. Good effort. Two six two six. Oh, missing those already streaming his runs, so you can go for someone else. Crunchy and Twinkie. Crunchy. Cool, cool. Uh, 
I don't think we did a FIFA tournament this year. Oh, wait. Uh, PC launch was last year, right? Yes. 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 Right? Am I crazy? Yes. Must have been. 100%. Okay. Because we had a PC launch tournament and then we had the the December monthly sort of thing. Oh, hold on. We can check the cheer options now. <gasps> wow. <laughs> wow. Let's get this party started. Keep calm and battle on. Fight mesmerize. Goodness. Last year. Yeah, I thought so. It's going crazy. <laughs> We're thinking of, uh, my thoughts are that we might host a FIFA tournament in, um, November, and for December we'll do something for Puyo Tetris 2's release. Since December's usually goofy anyway, um, but if we sh shuffle the FIFA back one month for Puyo Tetris, then that also works, probably. First five FIFA considering how long they take? Yeah, first five FIFA's usually good. The Puyo Puyo Battle 1 is huge. I have seen that one. I have seen that one. <laughs> um, where is it? Actually, that's here. <laughs> FIFA on PC, if possible. You think so? Huh, oh, okay. Um, we are still thinking of like having both platforms available down the line. If we can get enough people on board. Um, and ones, like you mentioned, if you're able to do it, uh, handle that alongside maybe well, well we'll see what the the role um thing it has to look like when we get there but it's definitely a consideration oh <laughs> my thingy <laughs> all right got crunchy versus twinkie GTL from both sides. Uh, Crunchy going for developing the transition space. Nice, nice, nice. Pretty clean, pretty clean. Twinkie going for back end first. Goes for the one chain for the clean up, considering back there chain is looking a little bit iffy. Um, but so is Crunchy's actually at this right. Oh goodness, that is a scary build decision because that means those yellows won't link up properly. Uh, Twinkie debating whether or not to set off main chain. Opting not to. Fair, fair, fair. Uh, at this point, Cranchy's having a lot of trouble because their base has been broken down. Uh, Twinkie can just go for main chain at this at this point, but oh, Cranchy actually went for main chain. If Twinkie does not quickly get that red, oh, they did very very close there. Goes for their main chain in response. It does explode a bit, but it's a lot of power um, into the six. Very nice mark there. Cranchy takes the damage. Twinkie's just gonna go for a little more to follow up in order to finish this. Go for the quick two chain. One. And then. One. Two. Oh. Not sure what exactly they're waiting for. Yeah, <laughs> that was the option I was looking for as well. Nice four chain. Hand chain, unfortunately, will not be able to get out of this one. And Twinkie takes the first one. Chain base is very awkward. That, that did get very awkward indeed. Your switch is cursed, oh no. Lots of play in a tournament, me, I much prefer those, fair enough. Okay, so both players looking rather nice with their base this time around. Ooh, ooh, th this is this One. is nice. These chain builds are quite nice. Alright, Cranchy doing a little bit of cleanup. Twinkie, okay, Twinkie's transition space got really awkward really quickly. Um they can go for the two chain now. Oh, they opted not to go for it. I think that would have been a very good option considering Cranchy's transition space has now also gotten super awkward. Both players are trying to work their way down. I think Twinkie has a little more access to current resources. Never mind, Cranchy One, goes for the two chain quickly. Alright, Twinkie is not going to be able to access main chain anytime soon. But they do have a three chain attack, so if they decide to go for it, they decide to go through for the three chain attack on the right side instead. Interesting, interesting. They can follow up with the reds now. If they so desire. Nice. Good follow up, good follow up. And there's enough to set Crunchy out. Twinkie taking another point. Retreat. Alright. Uh, 
Interesting, interesting. Alright, so Twinkie opting for the L-shape off of the GTR. Crunchy with a nice Y joint. Although that sixth column for both sides, um, looking a little awkward. Alright, nice 2 chain from Crunchy, nice response from Twinkie. That's the 3 chain. Takes a lot of damage, not too bad, not too bad, considering the verticality of their build. Alright, Twinkie looking to go for another attack, I think. Or not? Okay. They have a couple options now. Crunchy looks like they they're locking themselves into main chain only. Um, a bit scary, but... Oh, One, okay, never mind. Going for the two chain. Two. Twinkie going for the five chain attack. Jeez, it's a five double. Crunchy with the very nice two, yellow purple that they needed three. in order to set up their main chain. So they go for it. Go for it. Crunchy needing to get the blues out. Dang. Close, but not quite. Not quite. A job well done. Crunchy takes the point. gonna keep my switch alive. <laughs> um, okay. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Alright, both in a similar position. Their transition space is looking good this time around. Their base is looking uh, similarly developed. Alright, alright. Ooh, Crunchy did not end up making use of the right side. Um, of the base, unfortunately, but Twinkie did, so that might Two. settle things. We'll see, we'll see. Three. Twinkie just needs to- Oh no, no, Five. do not commit to the greens. They have no reds coming up, though. That was absurd. Even if they hadn't actively, like, committed to that much, they were not getting any reds. <laughs> this game is mean. This game is very mean. Alright, but Crunchy takes another point. Ooh, pure sandwich from Crunchy, yes. Oh, it's actually stairs, never mind. Gee, that's a step up. <laughs> Golly, that is interesting to see. Um, nothing on the stairs though. Oh, okay. Go for the four chain rush. Yeah, Twinkie needs to get a couple yellows. Dang, that one chain unfortunately limited how much they could get out. That chain clear animation. Whew. It feels like so much more time is being wasted one, when it actually is a waste two. of time rather than intentional one chain. <laughs> Alright, Crunchy takes another point there. Mean well poor RNG. It's mean game. This game is nice to nobody. <laughs> Alright, not sure what Crunchy's going for here. Looks like just a sandwich build. Uh, Twinkie going for the GTR still. Alright, looking good, looking good. Um, yeah, okay, Crunchy looks like they won't be able to transition because <laughs> they're not planning to all along. Uh, goes with the two double, but their chain is in an awkward position. They have a lot of resources, they can't do much with it. Uh, Twinkie opting to set up what they have. The reds do cut, but that's not an issue because it is a four. Alright, Crunchy takes a lot of damage now. And Twinkie takes another round. Stair rush paid off. Yep. The power of the stairs. <laughs> oh, what happens? Twinkie. Okay. <laughs> Strange. They are alive now though. Alright, good stuff, good stuff. Okay, so it looks like Crunch is going for a quick 3 chain. Uh, Twinkie does have a 3 chain in order to respond as well though. So, that's a very even exchange. Very even. Crunchy looks like they've gotten the advantage from here though. Oh, never mind. Just going for another rush. <laughs> Alright, a 5 there. And a 4 double from Twinkie. Once again, a very even exchange. <laughs> Dang, okay. This is going to be interesting to see. Alright, Crunchy with a very fancy 5 chain. Nice work there. Twinkie only with a 3 double this time as opposed to a 4 double. Do I have to take the garbage this time around? Yeah, yeah. Okay. 2 chain only. Um, giving Twinkie a little bit of time to actually get out of this situation potentially. Oh, 
That's a two chain from Twinkie. Crunchy plan is to do stuff on the left hand side, but uh foiled a little bit. That red blue is gonna come in nicely. Alright, a two chain response from Twinkie there, digging down, digging down. Crunchy has to get something decisive off before Twinkie actually manages to get out of here. Okay, a three chain from Crunchy. Twinkie not getting the red in time in order to actually respond with their two double. But they're still alive, still alive. The fight continues. Alright, Twinkie continuing to dig. I'm not sure what Crunchy's really going for here. Um, looks like they've been blocked off in a couple different ways, so it's really inconvenient. Uh, three... Oh gosh, okay. <laughs> Lots of power in that three chain there. Twinkie actually takes that round back. Very incredible. Big H for that. <laughs> All played by Twinkie. The battle to survive. It all worked out in the end. Alright. Oh! Two chain rush from Crunchy. Uh, usually, a two chain rush that small doesn't do too much to the opponent. Um, so, you've got to be careful if you make a play like that. Alright, Twinkie has not got their trigger sorted out yet. Or oh, keep you're sorry. So, interesting to see that only went for the four chain. But it looks like it also worked out on this side as well. Margin timer. I do wonder about margin time that previous round. Things got really powerful. Marcio, thank you for the follow. Alright, next round. So he has these like short delays sometimes, it's interesting. <laughs> Ooh, golly, what is that? Crunchy again going for a two chain. Okay, it turned into a very awkward battle <laughs> just from that. Because I'm not sure. Oh, Twinkie actually made a way to make. I found a way to make that work. The purples. Nice three chain there. But Crunchy taking the garbage and able to make a four chain with a two double link One, within it. Two, so nice. Three, right? I, I don't know what happened with the chain multiplier. I mean, yeah, the, the, the garbage multiplier Good thing. Well like, where did, what happened to uh, Sega? It was so nice. It was so nice to see, like it was even in Chronicle, you, you would think that's one of the things that they would have thought to bring back, but I guess not. I mean, not necessarily that like it comes up much anyway, but I mean especially for fever matches, you know? It would be nice to know like just how deep into a fever match you've gotten. <laughs> Alright, Twinkie looking like they're very comfortable in the position they're in. That yellow in the first column is looking a bit strange now, I wonder what that's all about. Crangy with a very uncomfortable chain build at the moment. Yeah, if they clear that, those reds can't. Nice three chain attack on Twinkie though, goodness. Alright. They are also in an awkward position unless they get a yellow in column two now. Wonder if they'll opt for it. Okay, they're just opting to attack more, I think. No, not quite, not quite, not quite. Ooh. Okay. That high misjudgment from Twinkie. Rough considering Cranji's attack. Lots of aggression now. Two chain from both sides, about an even exchange. Twinkie now has access to main chain properly. Oh, Cranji chain did not quite lock Twinkie out because Twinkie was fast enough there. A lot of very close exchanges in that battle. But ultimately, Twinkie was just that slight bit faster. I said the PT, PT engine, they didn't want to move the feature set over. Maybe. Maybe. Unfortunate though, hey. Still unfortunate. Alright. GTS in L shape? Is Crunchy going for L shape? No, actually Crunchy is going for a rush here. Uh, Twinkie is not quite ready. <laughs> they committed to quite a lot in their transition. Um, almost got there. Just didn't get a red to actually set their chain off. Nice effort though. Another win for Crunchy here. Very close match. It's interesting to see this. Alright, let's see. So... Looks like Crunchy's in a bit...
better of a position in this case. Oh, well, Twinkie's catching up. No, never mind. Twinkie's in a good position too now. Uh, Crunchy, in fact, is actually in a very strange spot with the way they built their chain. Um, clearing that two chain was a good idea. They were able to free up a bit more space, but Twinkie has a three double. Very aggressive, very aggressive. <laughs> that actually takes Crunchy out. Crazy stuff. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, okay. So Crunchy's <laughs> goes for the one chain. Once again, rushing with these early chains. An interesting decision, but is it a good one? We'll find out soon enough. Alright, Twinkie going for the two chain here. Crunchy does have a three chain ready if they're able to actually set off what they have. Carpenter is rather nice. Question is whether or not they can work around it. Twinkie still has access to a main chain sort of build, so if they just set that off right now, they'll be alright. Alright, quick two chain from Crunchy. Twinkie's still opting to- oh, that's probably a misdrop, right? Those reds, I don't know. It's hard to say. Don't think those reds are planning to go down there like that, because it's very hard to extend. <laughs> I'm not sure what exactly they were waiting for, but that's interesting. Crunchy with a nice decisive chain- oh, never mind. <laughs> that yellow-blue coming in to save the day. Alright, Crunchy with a nice three chain though. Good for luck, good for luck. Yeah, and then they take it. <laughs> Would be all there too. Alright, there you go. Oh, let's walk them off. Alright, Crunchy takes another game. Nice work there. One. Oh, okay. Bit of an awkward spot for Twinkie there. <laughs> Um, although Cranchy's chamber looks like it'll be very difficult to work with. There's no way to actually get that green there, so... Unfortunately, they won't really be able to set off any main chain in this case. Oh, they can set off three chain, very nice. Twinkie doesn't have anything to respond with in this case, so... Take a lot of damage there. <coughs> Alright, four chain from Cranchy, nice stuff. Lot of damage considering Twinkie only had a two chain there. And they could fight for survival, but as long as Crunchy keeps following up. Two. Oh, still not enough to take him out. Gotta go for a larger chain than that. Hey, nice drop spray. Very nice work. Okay, so Twinkies <laughs> making their way down, but yeah, Crunchy's finally got a chain off. Four chain, nice and large. <laughs> Reburying Twinkie. And there you go. PBT T two character that is the reference and the ones I found were super HD. They were so good. Like they were found so so early. I'm like, wow, okay. <laughs> it's crazy. Alright, quick two chip and cranchy. Looks like they sort of have like a a very early rush play style which works around this level considering people's chain builds are usually like very half developed by the time that um, Crunchy actually One. sets off what they have and as a result it ends up being very awkward. So it's an interesting, uh, interesting, I don't know if I call it a play style, uh, but early game strategy perhaps I could call it. Alright, nice fight chain from Crunchy here. Twinkie does have this to respond, but it's only a 3 chain unfortunately. No green Puyo in order to trigger the rest of the chain. Would have had it otherwise. Um, once again, Crunchy is in a position where they just have to follow up enough to take Twinkie out. Oh, just go for the yellows there. Nice 2 chain there. Burries Twinkie and that's that. Or is it? Ah, dang. That is that. It seems to have a good handle on aggression, but they're a little slow. Yeah, that's the main thing. But as long as they're actually making use of that aggression, like like they're doing now, they, they're usually a bit aggressive and then they follow up well enough. Um, as long as they have a good handle on the flow of the battle afterwards, they are good to go. Totally valid to play this way. Alright, another 2 chain early two. on. Twinkie, yeah, that transition space is looking awkward needing 3 purples, but 
we'll see how this goes. Alright, the Twinkies are looking to follow up with a, yeah, with their own small poke. Now both of them need three purples up there <laughs> on their transition, so that's a uh, fun and even. Okay, never mind. Granji's working it out. Twinkie is also slowly working their way down there. Alright, and at this point I think Granji will have to set off main chain soon. They offered the two chain, nice stuff, nice stuff. Alright, Twinkie. Ooh, lucky garbage. Goes for the three chain in order to follow up. Crunchy has to start off with a half. Dang, should have taken it as a two chain rather than as the one chain. Not enough power there. Okay, Twinkie's going for a lot of stuff, but they just need those purples in place. <laughs> Golly. Alright, Crunchy goes a red now. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh, don't get it in time. Twinkie takes that round. New B Hoop, welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. How's the Tyler working out for you? It looks pretty nice. I'm not usually referring to it too much uh, in my commentary, considering, I mean, we kind of just point out the actions anyway, but it's nice to have there as a visual guide um, for anyone else who's watching. Alright, Crunchy with the very scary GTR build at the moment. Uh, Twinkie just opts to set up main chain, which is fair enough. Crunchy needs three yellows there, and they need to split to get them all. Uh, unless they get a double yellow, but, you know. Not quite there, not quite. Alright, Twinkie on match point now. Crazy. What a close set. It helps spectators? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I figured. That's why I haven't disabled it. Because, I mean, it's just helpful to have there anyway. Alright, Crunchy can go for the two double. Yep, exactly what I was thinking. Exactly what I was thinking. Go for the two double. Nice early attack. Now they just have to follow up once again. Twinkie in, is in an awkward position for their chain, considering they can't actually set off their main chain now. That red in column one is blocking the way. Unless they incorporate that into their chain build, it's not going to do anything good for them. They can go for the three chain. They do, they do, they do. That split cost Crunchy. If they c had considered the, the double blue coming up, and had instead just shoved the blue green off to the side instead, they would have actually been able to just use the double blue in order to get their chain off, but I suppose they didn't notice the choice. Alright, Twinkie now has main chain ready now. I said now twice. <laughs> um, so, there they go with it. Nice five chain. Three from Crunchy, unfortunately not enough to fight against Twinkie's chaining. And that's the game. Twinkie takes it. Ten to eight. Feels good to see bad GTR punished, right? <laughs> Don't like to root for either side, but uh you know <laughs> when stuff like that happens. Dot dot dot. Yeah, nice stuff from both of these guys. Very epic. Um is that Bubba and Daryl at the last match? Unless Bubba and, Bubba and Daryl forget to set the winner. Oh, what happened? Ah, oh, they, they like. Okay, Daryl won there. Okay, cool. Crane Chain Twinkie just need the. Dingo. Yeah, 10 to 8. Very nice. Very nice indeed. What's going on in the chat, by the way, in the Discord? Let's have a look. People talking about each other improving. Very epic. Played pretty badly. Oh no. The more I play, the more I realize I need to practice. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta do it. We use these as motivation to to train. Alright, we'll take DDR Dan. DDR Dan Nusu for spectating. <laughs> you be hope, thank you for the follow. Very epic. Yes. Yes. Well done, Oz. Do you want a gummy puyo? 
guess what? You can get a gummy puyo now for only free because the update is free. So if you down the up, down the, da you know what? Whatever. I'm, I'm gonna just focus on running the thing because my brain doesn't work. <laughs> coming up. Okay, let's do it. Gummy gang, gummy gang. <laughs> Alright. Let's have a look here. Okay, so both players here are actually playing at very high speeds. Um One, <laughs> two. Okay, Dino Dan with the, the, the early aggression. Golly. Did you enjoy my technique? <laughs> oh, wait, she got a third spectator in, that's why. Ah, you can hold B to exit. One. Wow. These sound effects. Truly something. One, two. <laughs> okay, got distracted by the cheering because I wasn't doing any of this. <laughs> Alright, DJ Dan is being very aggressive against Nisi at the moment though. So, Nisi is going to have to be careful in order to actually keep up with this. And have to have a very accessible chain build in order to make sure that they have a main chain ready. I can't hear the sound effects very clearly because I don't have the game turned up to- Oh my god, did you damn with another rush? Jeez. <laughs> Didn't work out from this time though. Yeah, Nusu with a nice six chain though. Dan is foul, all's fair All's fair and gummy puyo. We have the gummy puyo, then the gummy puyo. Alright, so Dan's got a very interesting chain build at the moment. Um, okay, goes with a quick one chain in order to clean up, but it's going to be a bit difficult to work with that. Oh, okay, never mind, unless you're going to be like Dan and just throw out your garbage. <laughs> it's good practice. But you know. If you do Did it well, then it works out. My technique? Love when rushes a punish good Nusi. <laughs> it's good work from Nusi there. Um. Alright, so both waiting for greens, it looks like. Yeah, Didio Dan's a little further ahead again, considering he got the greens already. Um, Nusu does have a way to respond to any attack that Dan throws out at the moment, but it looks like their chain but doesn't have much more to it than that because they're in an awkward position now. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, Dan, on the other hand, looks like he does have the blue already. Oh, nice 4 chain from Nusu, but uh, looks like their chain's exploded now. Dang, okay. Looks like they exploded their chain too much. <laughs> Dan with a very interesting 9 chain though. God, Dan's got a brutal sword out, I don't remember him being the, this aggressive. How long ago did you watch him? In the past couple, I think like, maybe a couple months. Um, he started getting really aggressive. <laughs> like, 
oftentimes he'll make this speci one specific build with the right side GTR where the third column is reserved, um, like it's not filled in at all, and it just serves as being open in order to use massive hack fire. It's insane. <laughs> he also tends to just attack really well mid game, so very nice from him. Nice hellfire there. Did you enjoy my technique? Oh, thank you for the raid. Sorry, welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so it looks like Moose is actually doing the sort of rushy thing at the moment. Will Dane get the greens? Yes indeed, he will get the greens. Alright. Nice seven from him. Six. Unfortunately, Moose does not have enough here. Dang. Not quite, not quite. Did you enjoy my technique? So silly. All right, so um, Dan going for what looks like a rush. Yeah, those blues are definitely going to be used in order to get set off that two double right. Mm, no, he's actually incorporated it into the chain book properly. Although he doesn't really uh, have any other ways to clean up aside from actually using it. Um, looks like it worked out fine though. He timed it in such a way that Musu was not in a good enough position to respond to it. And that's six chain in order to follow up. Dang, this is not quite there, not quite. Hoi hoi, Arctic, what's the mystery? Enjoy my technique? All right. So it looks like at the moment, um, yeah, Noose has actually got a bit of stuff going on. 3 champs for DDR game though, very nice stuff. Ooh, Noose just following up with a bit of a broke chain. Uh, DDR games ahead in this case, so it was a finish. With a 6 double. Lots of power there, lots going on. Dang, DDR Dan is being very aggressive and just taking out all of these. <laughs> Crazy stuff, crazy stuff. Alright, this is the build that he generally goes for, something like this. And then he can just, yeah, he just set off the yellows anyway. Oh, actually opting to just go for his main chain, that's interesting. Looks like Musu might be in a better position in this game. Um, unless Dan does some really funky chaining, because, I mean, that that's really weird. I don't know what exactly he's going to do. Alright, he has those yellows available, he has... The job. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there you go, that's the three chain I was thinking about. There you go, though, and this is a nice main chain. Dan would just... I don't... I don't... Yeah. Not quite, he actually needed a red there. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't see his chain either. That, 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 that was no chain. <laughs> Can see Dan's an expert? Yeah. His style is just... Um... It's definitely a step up in adaptability uh, and just readiness for anything, considering he has so many options available a lot much of the time in order to actually um, attack and defend. Like at the moment, he's got those yellows ready and whatnot. Alright, uh, news at the moment, the very nice response to Dan's uh, initial attack though. Dan's now in a very weird position, so if Moose sets up main chain, it might actually help him. Oh, clears the stuff on the side in order to actually use their attack. Um, or use what they had as an attack. That's a very, very good play there. Um, although, okay, that one garbage is not too bad. Dan just opts for main chain now though, so if Moose doesn't get something quickly, this will be not good. Uh, wasting time with the one chains. Splitting. Oh, dude, I think that's a missed drop too. I think those bubbles were meant to go to Captain Man. Alright, nice 10 chance of Dan digging down. Making the way there. Did you enjoy my technique?
All right, let's see. All right, both with some very clean builds at the moment. Looking good. Dan with a very nice attack opportunity. Yep, nice two double. Usu, get the purple. Okay, gets the purple, sets off main chain. Dan now needs to quickly get enough to respawn. He has the yellows. No, he's going for the extension. I don't know what exactly he was going to go for afterwards because I thought he was going to connect, use that double blue itself with the mage. Oh no, it was going to break anyway. <laughs> Never mind. Very unfortunate indeed. Alright, Nusu with the almost all fit though. <laughs> Fancy. It actually matters now because the spectators get to see the all clear count go up. So, end game all clears can also just help you increment and ca a counter. <laughs> Ooh, Dan wondering whether to go for that one chain, I think. That would have been quite powerful. Um, instead of opting to go for this three chain, maybe? Yeah. Or two double? Like, d depending on the way he uses it. Yeah, looks like he was taking a moment to judge his situation. Um, and considering Nusu... Well, Nusu could have set off using their yellows, but I don't think they realized what Dan Did was doing until it was too late, so... Um, no access to main chain after placing that yellow. Nice 310, though. GG's. Well played by both sides. DJ Dan, just very strong. And Nusu, keeping up pretty well. Nice work from them. Dang, is that the first round that was finished? <laughs> okay, well, I guess we'll be waiting around for a little bit. I'm um, just gonna check out what else is going on. Yeah, seeing lots of GGs in the chat at the moment. Too bad you can't just jump in any game like in Booyah Burst. That's definitely one thing. Going from 1-8 to 3-9 to come back in the same way if you ask me, especially against Dan. Yeah, no, that was that was quite nice, Nusu. Well done. Thanks for the support. No problem. <laughs> Alexis got the right idea. You can have a bad day. Just have fun and enjoy yourself. <laughs> nice work. What have we got going on here? Well, I haven't tried with the wind streak though. So if anyone just keeps the room open, you can see. looking like. I wonder who's doing best. Did it and, and Alexis are looking really good, hey? Interesting. They're currently both in 3-0, so assumedly they'll be fighting next round. Unless... Hold on. Oh, Hugo and Daryl may end up getting a 3-0 as well. They, they're the other ones with the possibility of actually getting it. So we'll see, we'll see. Dang, that, the raffle will actually be more RNG today because there's so many players. <laughs> That's one thing that'll be interesting to see the result of. are starting to get filled up with scores now. Wow, okay, so 
um, the interesting thing is that Didier, Dan, and Alexis are only separated by a points difference of two. That's the final tiebreaker thing that they have going on, so... That is currently the only thing that's... Providing a separate result from the two. Just a fun little thing. <laughs> it's in the chat now. Uh, Nusu. Well, Team California lost to DDR Dan. So people with the response. Don't worry, Nusu. Most of California will lose to DDR Dan. Uh, SP420 needs to ground us his spiritual energy. <laughs> Interesting stuff. Let's see here. <laughs> I like Dan Rack Chinky in the IPL ranked matches. Dang. Yeah, the win streak thing is cool. It's pretty neat. Hey, they really want people to just sit down and watch Puyo, and I'm kind of trying to do that. It's good stuff. It's good stuff indeed. Always got to cheer for the invasion players. <laughs> fair, fair, fair. Alright, round three is about halfway done in terms of the score reports. Reaching its end now, we're getting the 10 5 as our most recent result. So you can just slowly see a fill in with like 10 5, 10 6, and so on. It's fun to watch the bracket fill up like that. Gosh, if only I wasn't so tired, I feel like I could actually talk a bit more in between. So apologies about a sort of goofy commentary at the moment. <laughs> but I'm doing my best. <laughs> I hope my commentary in game has been alright. Oh golly, lots of people going on. I wonder how the other brackets are going. Looks like they're all making that progress too. Result come in. Commentary has been pretty fine. Alright, glad to hear it. <laughs> One of these days I'll actually be able to sleep early and then wake up for this, like after a nap that's longer than one hour. <laughs> every match I'll take it. Yeah, good effort, good effort. Still have two rounds though, so anything can happen. Alright, final match results should be reported soon. Grand and Pokemon fan. You don't see how you stream these with your time zone? Well... 
Um, yeah, maybe you got it right. Maybe I am just insane. <laughs> just gotta do what you gotta do. Hey, if Australia is not gonna participate just yet, fine, I can help American players and the rest. Don't worry, I see you all. It's just. It's mostly America time zone reason that we actually host tournaments at this time, isn't it? No, it's because UTC. It's just universally good. <laughs> Except here. It's, it was the most agreed upon time. If you're curious about like why we settled on this time, we did run a poll. And it's consistently been the time that works for most people. Alright, let's see here. Um, let's watch... Uh, Daryl and Lunard. Do they happen to be? Big question marks right now. Big question marks. <laughs> they actually ended up with a 10 9 with Crunchy and Pokemon Fan, though. <laughs> Crunchy having close matches with everybody. I see Daryl Luna typing it all. Mm, question mark, question mark. 1700 YouTubers specifically chosen because of the original Playboy tournament. We did a recheck up like last year when. No, sorry, this year as well when we. when um, the new tournament organization crew was um, elected and. Uh, we still had like agreement on the fact that it was still a very much agreed upon time. Well, okay, it was Saturday evening, but we decided like five o'clock specifically because it works for other people, as we'd had evidence for that, and for us as the tournament organizers as well. So it all worked out. Well, worked for us tournament organizers. It's fine. <laughs> it's funny because. <laughs> All three of us are in a time zone that's not really good. But I mean, all three of us are just... We're living. <laughs> How's the tournament been so far? It's going pretty well. We're getting some good stuff in. Uh, where are Daryl and Lunard? Are they? Are they around? Oh, there we go. Daryl, what is the um ah oh, oh, two four two four okay did not catch that thing I yeah it's been really nice to see the spectator mode in action for this tournament it'll definitely be good to move them forward. <laughs> Got a Luna and Raphis, or Daryl and Ringo. The universal password, indeed, indeed. <laughs> Alright, so Daryl's actually going for a, for a pure sandwich. Well, almost. <laughs> Regardless, it's a sandwich. It's a sandwich. Um, interesting that they. Oh, okay, no, two double. Never mind. I was like, <laughs> what are they going to do with the right hand side? And 
Goes for a two double throw, very nice. They're not in an awkward position. Can't really get down from here without three purples. They almost have enough purples. Oh, and then here with main chain. That will work for main chain as well, but considering Luna was digging down, they've got a lot more in terms of their resources, so they're able to overwhelm. Seven against an eight double. Looks pretty structured. It's quite nice. So it looks like Daryl was a uh, sandwich player? Oh, well, actually. Interesting. It's it's not as simple as that from the looks of things. Uh, looks like the base needs a bit of work here, but I'm sure they'll figure something out. On the other hand, Luna looks to be pretty comfortable with their chaining builds. Um, Oh, they are missing a blue in column. Never mind, they put it there. Column six, I was gonna, uh, five, I was gonna say. Daryl with a very aggressive attack. Jeez, very nice use of um, there, just cleaning up and attacking. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, both with a similar train structure at the moment. Um, Luna with the nice tail. Ooh, I love that already. Although they're gonna make the same cut as me at this rate with the yellows. I'm so sad. I'm gonna cry. I hard relate to that. Nice stage on Daryl though. Uh, Luna's gonna set off main chain now. Mostly, mostly good build. <laughs> uh, Daryl also has a very nice build going on. Ooh, they just had to like, opt for main chain instead of extending with the green, but um, without an extension, it's gonna be. Not enough, unfortunately. Alright, nice work. Luna with the very one. large chains. Looks like they're much more comfortable with their chaining. Alright. Similar stuff on both sides. <laughs> both having the very awkward, awkward uh, piece set to deal with making their right hand side a little bit funny but you know they're working it out oh ooh, Daryl did not fill in the with the double yellow um, making things a bit more difficult Luna with a very nice two double three Daryl having to take this garbage Luna can now follow up with the main chain or something or another in order to finish all right no Luna did not decide to follow up so quickly I got a grab five chain. <laughs> hey, it's decisive. If it works, it works. Yeah, good one, Impit. The matches are going pretty well. We oh, see some pretty good performances today. Good variety in play styles as well. All right, Daryl with the. Is this L shape now? <laughs> Hard to follow. Okay, it's L shape with a twist. <laughs> the back of that chain is going to be quite powerful at this rate. Luna does have an attack ready. Goes for the two chain quickly, yeah. Alright, are you going to follow up with the three chain? No. Goes for the two chain instead, interestingly enough. Uh, no purples for Daryl, so that's very awkward. Luna with a very nice follow up after that follow up. Good, gotta always just make sure you're keeping the pressure on. If you want to ensure your victory. Very nice stuff. Still use this when PvT2 comes out. Just depends on the quality of PvP in that game, I think. And whatever the tournament standard ends up being for um for the for Sega as well. I think that will play a role in determining what we're gonna use. Oh, okay. So Leonard's base and Daryl's base. They're both looking a little funny. Uh okay, Leonard's using quite a lot for um attacking, but luckily they're they're still in a pretty good position. That was a very nice two chain. Oh, Leonard's built up enough in order to absorb that damage, but that is that's gonna be a bit hard to dig out of this rate. Daryl with a very nice four chain follow up. Good stuff, good stuff. Both players being very... Uh, 
<laughs> What's the word? Just playing smart with their follow-ups after the initial attacks. Good stuff. One, two, lock at three, clean up. It's good stuff. All right, all right. So, looks like Daryl's going for a quick two chain now. Luna is able to absorb the damage quite nicely. Daryl with another two chain. That split's gonna cost Lunard. No, okay, not quite actually. I was able to set up a main chain from there. It's quite a nice chain. Daryl does need to get a red down or a lot of greens. Yeah, it looks like that was for the extension. It was just too late. Just too late on that. Close, close. Luna has a strong understanding of aggression, but defense man needs a little bit of work. Indeed, indeed. I think that generally goes for a lot of advanced bracket players, usually at that level, if they're being rather aggressive, um, being able to play defense uh, does not easily come with it at this level, which is honestly fair enough, because being able to defend appropriately against an attack is very, it's very hard to gauge what exactly the opponent's going for a lot of the time. It's similar like, to that, or if they end up defending, um, Sometimes the pressure can cause you to just break your chain as a result of the way that you defended. Uh, not the worst position on. Oh, I feel like Luna could have gone for putting the blues together, but this this might work too. We'll see, we'll see. Um, okay, Daryl going for main chain now. Nice five. Luna with an attempt to defend, but not quite enough though. May, yeah, May, there we go. <laughs> the real question is, PBT2 have this spectate mode? The descri description for the product says so, so hopefully they're not lying. <laughs> Considering it has the gummy poison and everything, one theory t is that um, PPC was used as a kind of a prototype or training ground sort of thing as like um, to make sure everything's functioning well before implementing it in Puyo Tetris. We'll have to wait and see. And maybe to get like feedback as well, I don't know. Alright, very nice chain for Luna there. Good use of 5th and 6th columns, which is something that uh, a lot of players tend to skip over. It's a very nice 9 chain. Oh, Daryl with a very nice chain as well. Unfortunately no yellow in order to support the back of the chain, they would have had enough if so, but you know, good, good effort. An epic <laughs> effort. A base of champions engine? Mm, might be, might be. They wouldn't have gone through the effort if they couldn't have reused the code, right? <laughs> yes, gummy for you. Give back, give us 20 more versions of gummy skin. Good. Ooh, Daryl with the. the. preparing the. follow up. Nice stuff. But Luna with the main chain. Nice five. Then I had a very nice chain though. Yes, indeed. Alright. Keeping that main chain open, making sure it's available. Good stuff. But yeah, there were a couple secret little things. Um, like, going on the pre-order page for GameStop gave a bit of extra information, such as the raid battles, and spectator mode being available, which was published nowhere else, so just gotta search for the every bit of information we can get. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Alright, uh, Luna does have a nice back of the chain, but they don't really have a way to extend from here, um, whereas Daryl also actually has quite a nice back chain. Back and chain, so it looks like they both have a good competitive field. Leonard went for a very <laughs> beefy attack there, and that was going for main chain, but considering they use so many resources, um, unfortunately it's not going to be enough against the uh, main chain from Daryl. Crazy explosions, though. <laughs> no wonder I didn't know. No, it was, <laughs> it was very hidden. That means a bit shiny in HD versions, a little more toned down in Chronicle. Yeah, I. When I first saw it, I was like, whoa, that's weird, and then I've just gotten used to it by now. I just, it's just nice enough. Oh, Daryl, I think, going for a rush, unless it's just a very weird chain build. 
Oh. No, okay. Never mind. I see, I see. It, it's it's a chain build. You know, with a nice uh, tail again, though. It's good stuff. One, two. Quick little two from Daryl. Oh, wow. Luna just got one from main chain. Guess they didn't, they're not. I'm not showing any fear. Alright, nice six from Daryl. Takes garbage though, so if Luna can just follow off soon enough. Oh, that two chain is a little rough. Alright, there's a three following up now. Oh, Daryl with a nice two double. Staying alive? Oh, no, in the third lane, Daryl too. Very sneaky. Alright, then I can go for this 2 chain as well. Daryl also with a 2 chain. Nice, nice. Playing to survive. Alright, then I now has access to what they were trying to go for in the first place, so looking a bit scary. There's a 3 chain, but Daryl has a 4. Really nice, really nice. Turn the entire game into gummy, perfect. <laughs> Alright, nice three chains on both sides here, but it looks like Daryl has a very nice two double to follow up now. And yet another match where it's been turned around where the opponent was near the top of the screen. Good start. Gummy Shigu. <laughs> Prefer the more shiny gummy poison champions such as two compared to Coracle. I think I think I'm growing to like these better as well. I think it was just um a sort of because of the 3DS's general uh, the design of Chronicle, it kind of just fit in. But here, it, like with Puyo Tetris especially, I think it fits really nicely what? with the style. All right, what? bit of aggression with Daryl here, but it looks like they're not pretty comfortable with their chain build, so um, it's not doing too much. And they're not potentially going for main chain soon. Uh, Daryl on the other hand. Oh, also going for main chain, never mind. <laughs> they decided to just clear three, that one chain at the same time. Good stuff on both sides though. Nice tails, but Luna's got so much power, that's insane. <laughs> nice eight chain battle from both sides. Hello, all the people who are here. <laughs> Look less shiny because 3DS resolution? I think so too. I think it's just because of the system and everything. So they couldn't really go for what they perhaps intended. I mean, it's it's still really nice, like, we got to introduce that, so it's very important. Right back at you. <laughs> that was great. Alright, so, I don't know about Daryl's chain, looks like, yeah, more suited to attacking than anything. Um, Oh gosh, they can go, yep, go for it. <laughs> Please do. Ah, dang. Took too long to make the decision though. Luna now has main chain. It's a very clean chain, and in fact, it's a 10 Ulta. Alright, nice effort from Daryl, but unfortunately not enough. Nice stuff! Revolution. Puyo Puyo Tennis. The favorite sport for everybody. New tennis Puyo. <laughs> Who needs Mario Tennis when you have Puyo Tennis? <laughs> Aren't they like the same game anyway? <laughs> Puyo and Tetris. Hmm. That's a weak comparison. How about Mario Tennis and Puyo Tennis? Basically the same thing. You have them throwing their special powers at each other. <laughs> um, okay, so... I don't know about Luna's chain. Again, it looks more suited to actually being aggressive, but I can't tell. They're not doing too much with it. Daryl goes for the two chain there. Yeah, Daryl's just using stuff on the left hand side, but then Luna's now got a three double crazy stuff. They were almost responded to time, but not quite. So Luna takes this out. GG is the both sides. Why are you cheering, Yoshi? Oh, I could be, but I think my brain is a bit bleh right now. So, cheering and also commentating would be 
a bit difficult. <laughs> I'm uh, just now imagining all of them go playing tennis with players. Good. Perfect. That is exactly what we needed. <laughs> Alright, good stuff from there. Um, most sets are closing off now, unless I've got 10 sevens, 10 sixes. Um. <laughs> he could say I'm getting bullied, my joy cons randomly don't work. Oh no. No, just at random times I can't turn the players for 20 seconds. Alex is like, I accept the victory if you want. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> I think it's the new update, it gives you a handicap against me. Alex is saying to Ahiku. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. Lots of GG's in chat. Nah, instant karma. What? <laughs> what is he going on about? I'm so curious. <laughs> At this point. The drama. Everything intensifies. <laughs> the cloud noises. The whistle noises. Or oh, just change the game with a bunch of second characters of the Puyo Mini game. Um. Yes, I think there was. I think there was. Queer Mem Hello, so suspect. <laughs> and fake life. Nice to be able to hear the game not whistles, though. Yeah, we can do that when I'm streaming normally. <laughs> and I, c I turn on cheering for players. <laughs> you guys can just spam for me during a match. Hmm. We are pr actually pretty close in terms of skill level. Seeing sentences like that makes me so happy because it means there's potential for the players to meet up and play after the tournaments. I'm like, that's exactly what we want. Players don't hear the noise. Oh, it's true that they don't hear the noises, but you can see all the effects regardless. <laughs> yeah, this is my first time hearing the, all the sounds. I'm like, wow, okay. Well, I mean, like, from my own, because I've, I've obviously watched the clips <laughs> people posted and the complaints about it. It's kind of goofy. I still figure out what button does what, though. And most of them really are just like, wee woo wee woo. It's only like X or something, which is the tame one, I think. Almost made a come five to nine comeback, then you got the perfect piece. Amazing comeback. No, I'm so sad. That's a Bubba to Will Flame. Dang, GG's. That's wild. I can hear Bubba to <laughs> scream from here, says so Spring. <laughs> Has two streams are full of cheer noises? Goodness. Ella's class noise. <laughs> oh my gosh. That one piece will haunt me in my sleep, says Baba. <laughs> oh no. What a tragic story. <laughs> Dang, looks like Pokemon fan tends to be getting the long rounds. Wolf Flame saying kept misdropping near the end though, I think I was overconfident. Interesting. <laughs> Dang, I hope with all the activity this time around we get a similar result next time. As long as we keep promoting these events like largely on a large scale, I think that's important. Got to chip in with the Wii Nexus account and all the other people associated with it, and make sure the that the event gets known because that's the main thing, really. I think people are willing to play; it's just they need to know the event is on, and it's a bit hard to to spread that information. 
with when it comes to stuff like the Puyo Discord, like I don't know how many people just check the events tab. Scary stuff. Can't even watch us two stream unmuted. <laughs> oh, real. I'm gonna have to check it out his side later on. Mega garbage, Puyo. Mega Ojama. <laughs> Once I get at least a bit okay at Puyo, I'll join one of these. Oh, boo, but the point is so that you can just play at any level. I think that's what a lot of people f um, are scared of, but really, that's why we host different skill brackets. We want as many people to join as possible so that you can get more matches in, so you can get better at the game in the first place, right? Because it's sort of a self-fulfilling loop, right? Oh, I won't join the game until I'm good enough, but then if you don't play games, you don't get good enough. And um, there never will be a good enough anyway, um, potentially. So it's it's that um, sort of thing where it's like, we highly encourage you joining if, if what you're scared of is skill level. It's like, we... The thing is, he, he look at it this way as well. You are a player who's scared of their skill level. You have someone else who's scared of their skill level. If only one of you joins, right, they might get beaten up by everyone else in the bracket who's only confident in their skill level. Whereas, if both of you join, at least you guys might be matched up with each other at some point, which means that you two will be able to, like, become more comfortable, right? We need each individual player to make, um... A contribution and as a result of that you'll get more close matchups in the first place right it's mutually beneficial everybody gets something out of it um, right because again if only the confident players joined then only the confident players will be in the bracket and the one guy who was not so confident joins and then you know get thrown around potentially if they were too nervous or something but yeah, it's just, it's it's appreciated by everyone, by the TOs, other players, and eventually, I'd say, you can appreciate yourself for joining the tournament, because it is a fun time. I can guarantee that. <laughs> I joined with social anxiety and stuff, that's fair enough. I can understand if it's the social aspect, which is a bit scary, because these are meant to be social events. But, um, uh, once again, uh, the only way to really get involved with the community is to step in, so, uh... What's nice about the Puyo community is that everyone's so tame, so it's good stuff. Makes me happy. Not confident myself at all, but I join? Yeah, good good going spring. More like where I was before I took a long break. Right, fair enough. But again, to get yourself into the groove, this might help. Maybe go for the next month. There's like a couple weeks until then. Um, so, you know. Think of these tournaments as practice? Yeah, that's the thing. I don't really like, I, I don't call them tournaments because they're not really tournaments. That's why I just call them monthlies because it's just a monthly event. But calling it a, an event also doesn't sound very attractive either. So it's <laughs> so it's like, mm, like oh look, we're hosting another Puyo event. I'm like, uh. okay, who do we watch? Um... Reshram, dummy, spec. We'll have a look at their stuff next. And this will be the final round for the night. Or the day, just depends. Don't want to switch, unfortunately. Yeah, that's also one thing. But we're hoping to host them on PC as well in the future, so keep an eye out for that. 100%. Um, for anyone who only has PC version. Unfortunately, PS4 is not going to get as much love, because, like, no one has a... <laughs> the moment I first left at UGC, my, my mind was blown. <laughs> Just for fun and just a good way to match up with other players. That, I think that's the main thing, right? You get matchups. Because they're Swiss, 
you end up it's not about getting eliminated it's about eventually finding people who will be at your skill level because they have a similar standing in the tournament um, that's the only reason it's shown as a tournament format because if we had randomly threw people together it would be a bit of a mess so it just helps next month I think I for sure will awesome and if I don't you can sit on me <laughs> but month is a good enough name anyway yeah I think that it's a good thing to do Ready for PC Spectator, and then I'll help out with TO. Yeah, and it should be out next month. So, once we get the announcement for that, we can totally run stuff there. Oh, whoops, I should probably check if the... 2424. Right, rushing around. Alright, nice to meet you. <laughs> it just goes over there, nice to meet you. Nice. Good luck, I've under these guys. I'm on PC, but then I get recently it's been chaotic, so hey, it's okay. Once again, school brackets exist for the reason that we mentioned. On PC, that'd be so nice, but I understand Switch is a popular fan form. Yeah, we'll, we'll handle both, though, for sure. Xbox One version. <laughs> X, no. <laughs> We'll handle all of the tournaments on the uh, 3DS version of Queer Queer Tetris. <laughs> oh gosh. He was interested in PC, I'm here. Indeed, Malachi would definitely be able to help out with that in NN. One. Two. Um. Uh, one. Ooh, Two. okay. So. Three. <laughs> Four. Dummies could name Kit Moon in here. <coughs> almost. Almost there from Kit Moon, but not quite. Gonna get PC with a PC switch at a discount? That's fair. Nangufar, hello, what the heck? You should pop me up for you until I get good. Hey, if you're down for a match sometime, let me know. Also, we need to play panels in this game too, huh? Hey, it's a trade. You you bop me in panels until I get good. I bop you in Puyo until you get good. Is that fair? Do we have a deal? <laughs> I know, we still need to play panels, I'm sorry. This weekend's been... It's going to continue to be busy. My sister's birthday, so... <coughs> we had people over. Um, <coughs> Russian room's got a nice chain going on at the moment. I should drink some water. Wow, Russian room with the second transition. My gosh. Are they going to get the purple though? <gasps> no. No. I'm so sad. Where is that purple? No. They needed to. We keep waiting. The chain still would have worked. They didn't break anything. I'm sad. If we've got champions with an Xbox, it's so weird to think about, isn't it? Sounds like a play in my game. Epic. Epic indeed. <laughs> I know, I'm so sad. But Kit made the right play in attacking Reshroom while he was up there. If your opponent up that high, it's me. They're most likely very vulnerable. Unless you're fighting like an A or an S rank player, they will most likely get taken out. Xbox one, one popular? I mean, in Japan, Xbox just isn't used much, right? And then here, there's like, like PS4 and Xbox aren't known for Puyo, right? So, um, because of the how sort of like small the scope of the advertising for the audiences, it's sort of like One, both versions don't two. get much love in general anyway. Um, although PS4. Oh, is Rush Room okay? Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Uh, Rush Room's typing. Something has gone wrong. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, I don't think there's much overlap between the Xbox and Puyo, that's right. Unlike Puyo and Furries. Okay, anyway. Uh, something happened. Uh -huh. Something happened. Something went wrong, apparently. <coughs> Is it controller issues? Oh no! Back to square one. He was not supposed to be in your room. Oh. Oh. I'm 
Okay, never mind. <laughs> so Kit apparently isn't dummy. Okay. That's a rip. Does that region look like they'd watch this global? That should give you a good idea. <laughs> Rushy around. No Japanese faces. Also, I think the Xbox portal pull your attention has never got the big update thing. Oh, yeah, you're right, actually. Wrong person. That's a rip. Xbox version PPT, indeed. Beginner bracket is done. Awesome. Has anyone done the raffle for it? If not, then you guys can handle that now. Want to see the beginner pool matches? I believe S2 streamed a bit of them, so that's the thing. No one playing in the first place isn't playing it on Xbox. <laughs> GG? Uh. Oh, Kit, you're here. Sorry, that was meant to be Rusher and. Uh. Dummies match. <laughs> Unless. That was. You? Wait a minute. Unless. Th was there a miscommunication? What if that was... Okay, I'm very confused. That means I'm not responding to Discord, so it's like, question mark? I'm so lost. <laughs> what exactly happened? Okay, is this a right? Okay, we got dummy now. <laughs> Okay. Not even entered? Okay, fair enough. <laughs> oh, I see, kid. Alright. <laughs> Had to say hi. Uh, okay, if you're already acquainted, then that would explain things. Alright. Same pass. Did I even need to enter a password? What the heck? Um, I didn't, did I? That's weird. <laughs> no worries. Alright, cool. It just means you're you're excited to play for you. Me too, buddy. Me too. Alright. Nice early attacks from dummy here. Locking my share out of options. Huge stream delay. Oh no. Back to square one. Alright, dummy takes the first point. Oh, what the heck? What is Dummy doing? Oh, sandwich, but the other way. Gosh. Oh, right to left. Right, it's, it's GTR, it's a sandwich, right enough. Oh, going for the rush. Golly, alright. There you go, 5 chain. Square stream also has a 5 chain now, so looking alright from both sides. Cool, 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 cool. Don't think we just the stream. How done on my PC? I have a stream delay too. Dang, what the heck? That's very weird. One, two. Kit, do you see the stream delay to them? Like, because I assume they're comparing it to like what you're saying, is it? FIFA friendly sandwich? Two. Yes. Oh, see, if you saw the sandwich, and at, at most it's like 20 second delay, which is... Wait, is that no Is that still normal for Twitch? I actually don't remember two. what the delay is like these days. <laughs> I assume it's mostly lowish latency, so I don't know. One. Something must have went weird. Two. One. Two. Which is that like three seconds now? Right. If it's usually that, then. Also slow? Okay, fair enough. Two. Yeah, I'm not really sure then. If everyone is b delayed, then there must be something happening with the stream. Um. I assume what's going on is that because of my encoding lag, I think this tends to happen whenever I have encoding lag, um, where if I end up missing frames or whatever, it'll delay the entire stream and I'm like, I don't really know how it works or why it works that way, but like, it's a bit dodgy. Which is also why I just don't like having to 
deal with encoding lag by having stuff like back it up in the background. But it's what we're gonna have to deal with during the tournaments, which is a bit e. Unless they could just make mobile interface for challenge actually function <laughs> when viewing the packets. Unless I'm missing something, maybe maybe I'll figure it out by next time and it'll be better. Because you can still perform all the actions from the mobile interface. It's just the brackets are very difficult to view because they're in a tiny space for some reason. Alright, nice chain from both sides. Dummy with a huge power, but nice chain with a 7 chain which overwhelmed. Good luck there. International channels vary. Right, interesting. Nah, I usually don't get much latency either, so... Um... Who knows. Take one the beginner bracket. Nice, nice. How many people did we get in the beginner bracket? Don't tend to have too much to learn on my phone, they learn on my iPad sucks though. Ah, uh, I see. <laughs> Some devices just don't cooperate, hey? Alright, so it looks like Dummy doesn't tend to like go for building the transition so early, which means that they they end up with a fair amount of wasted resources, but they can often walk around it from the looks of things. Although this time around it looks like they don't have enough time. Yeah. No yellow there. Seven people, six people dropped out though. Hey, I'm glad we at least had that seven turn out for beginner bracket. That's awesome. Alright. Oh. Wow, dummy with a very aggressive attack. Use a lot of resources for that 4 chain, but yeah, once again, Meshram's just available. Um, has main chain available. Considering he's an Android for now, I wonder if it's some kind of difference between Android and iOS. I wouldn't assume so, but maybe. So I think I can help run things in the background. Yeah, thank you for your work, Malachi. Like, regardless of not being able to um, watch the matches and doing the background stuff, um, we appreciate all the help we can get because we're going to need it. And hey, we can get you on the front line again once we're doing PC version and stuff, so that should be fun. If we continue to get the support for the monthlies and the people playing in them, then we can suddenly do things like this. Or continue like carrying on things like this, moving forward into the future. The, the future is exciting for us. Hello, Ewa! Hello, hello. Alright, I don't know if... <laughs> much of the time it looks like dummy chains are just rushes because... Okay, I guess this time around it is because Rushiram also rushed, so... There's that. Yeah, right? It'd be so good. I think stuff like... Um, us finally getting around to creating that Puyo Nexus Twitter and everything. Having things a bit more centralized is now going to make things a lot nicer. Um, and everybody is cooperating a little more easily. Um, yeah, I think we really just did need a bit of an intervention from Sega because things were starting to die down and now that we finally have this available it's like the opportunities have now opened up to us because of Sega's willingness to cooperate. Otherwise, I think things would have been at a standstill for quite some time. I'm so grateful for how much work they're putting into getting this game out. It's like... Everything. Puyo Nexus Twitter? Ah. Uh, the Puyo Nexus Twitter is what we actually used to... and rebranded to the EPPC Discord because... Mm, in a sense, the history... Um, we decided that because of the history of Puyo Nexus, we're now like moving out from it's less so that um the EPPC is a subsection of Puyo Nexus and it's that Puyo Nexus is now a subsection not subsection but like it's a, a sub community of um the EPPC now because 
EBBC is the hub now. It's um, it's where all the, the players are. So Blue Nexus is now kind of a dead name at this point. And so that's why we're calling these like the EBBC monthlies. Um, the Twitter handle itself is E N G ing, uh, and then put your Discord or yes, a a ing put your Discord. You can also find it on the event page. All right, yeah, dummy looks like they're just going for rushes much of the time, which is interesting to see. Ooh, okay, keeping up with the story chain, nice stuff. Rush with the two chain to follow up, nice stuff. Keeping dummy. Uh, sort of making sure that the their board is awkward. One. What happened to Puyo Nexus? Two. Um, we basically we basically rebranded. The TLDR is that we've rebranded. Um, because of the fact that Puyo, the English Puyo Discord is a central hub, two. rather than Puyo Nexus being the hub instead. Yeah, the 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 website itself is alive. But the community isn't necessarily associated with the existence of that wiki and the simulator. It's the Discord itself. That's one way to look at it, really. Yeah, that's why the Puyo Nexus site is so quiet. We disabled um, using the forums, like, uh, was it last year or the year before? I don't remember. Missing? No, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you guys had a good experience today. And we hope to see you next month as well. Good luck on all your games. Uh, one more than I lost. Nice work, Spring, by the way. I didn't see that until now, but it's awesome. Awesome, awesome. Go rush your ram. <laughs> Money, hello. <laughs> Gotta cheer a bit, huh? Gotta do it for you. Alright. Yeah, Russian's looking pretty good at the moment. Dummy could go for a pretty meaty attack now if if that's what they're going for. I can't tell. Oh Russian actually went for the rush this time around. Not done just yet. Not just Aw, oh, didn't let me finish cheering. <laughs> Alright, nice work, Reshiram. Interesting play stuff from Dummy, but um, ultimately I think Reshiram got the hang of dealing with Dummy's playstyle, and that ended up being the result. GG's. We honky in finals, yes. <laughs> Very important. Mm -hmm. 2017, jeez. It really does only feel like a year or two ago that we were transferred. No, we originally transferred like way back here. <laughs> But I remember why I found out about the Discord. Here's a little story before the tournament ends, I guess. Yeah, see, maybe I'm not such a bad commentator. Um, hold on. Yeah, I remember we had a Puyo uh, hashtag play Puyo tournament. Um. Because that's what the original monthlies were called. Um, but the thing is, on that night, I was sleeping over at my cousin's place. So I remember waking up in the morning um, at my cousin's place and using their computer in order to play in that play player. Um So what happened is that on that day after the tournament, I was talking to... At the time, was he s still called Shining Yoshi? I think he was still called Shining Yoshi at the time. Shoburu, right? Shining Yoshi. I think, I think at the time he still was. So we were talking, and I was like, hey, it's been a while since I've seen you around, because back then, Puyabas was the only way that we really all communicated, and I had stumbled across him a couple times. I don't think we were talking that often yet, but we enjoyed playing games with each other and such. So then he was like, you know, there's a thing called Discord that we can use to communicate, and it's also where the 
um, Wii U, they've, they've got the English Wii U community running that, and it's like, really? So, from there, he got me into the, wow, he's done so much for me, I need to go thank him again. Because he got me here, at, well, at least, it, he got me here sooner, rather than later. Um, so I knew what was going on early, and same TGM, he got me into TGM. <laughs> There's a lot to thank him for. Uh, but... Yeah, we that had that happen, and... So that's why I was there. There you go, my life story. No, it's not my life story, that's like... The second half. Maybe third, third section. First, first was probably... Me playing Glee Fever on the Xbox. Second was probably all the Puyova stuff, and then third is the disco. No, mm, maybe not. I mean, my early no, that, that was more like the prologue, I guess. Me me playing Glee Fever on the Xbox was like the prologue. Then the start of things, like part one was playing on Puyova. Part two was like kind of that in between going through Puyova and using the Discord, and then the third part is the present day. It's so exciting. This is what esports about, honk honk. <laughs> I really love that. I'm glad to hear that you had a good time. My nice commentary cheerings. I'm so sorry, win zero, but <sighs> this is just what happens when when you got the honk honks. Guess who won in the beginner bracket? Nice work, tag. Passage time is an enigma, <laughs> right? Cool. We still had the August forty third update forum thread. Oh my gosh, crazy. Really good commentator. Well, I'm glad I was all right. Yeah, we next. I think um, it'll be good to start doing that next year because this year just wasn't. We've already got so much stuff going on that I was like, let's not talk about like whatever the Advent League is gonna be. Um, but starting from next year, hopefully we'll have enough interest by then to start running those like the. I, I wouldn't call them professional, but like the. Well, you know what? Co sure, let's label all them professionals. The the professional side, um, so that we can train up our our top players. And that'll be good. Is this event e EPBC? It wouldn't have been possible without the other guys as well. Um, you can see me as the face of like some of the stuff, and I suppose S2 is also streaming at the moment. But um. Huge thanks to S2 for communicating with Sega to get the codes in the first place. Also, helping us set up and run the um, English Puyo Discord's account. Everything. Like, he's he's been doing so much. He's been working so hard with the community. Huge thank you to him. Um, and also, big thank you for to Malachi and Pokemon Fan. Uh, Malachi, you're seeing a bit in the stream, but Pokemon Van all on Discord. Those guys have been playing a huge part in helping us organize these tournaments and run them. Um, so, big thanks to them as well, because, again, things wouldn't have been possible without their help. Especially with the tournament this scale, and if we keep getting tournaments th this big, we're going to need uh, all the help from them that we can get. Uh, what a throwback. Crazy, right? If you see the league when, maybe we'll, maybe we can do work something out. Uh, he who does have the international Puyo League stuff going on, it, it's just about to finish, but uh, maybe we can get everyone in for that. Shannon Yoshi, of course he was a Yoshi, of course, right? Yoshi, who's Yoshi? I'm Yoshi. Are there any more Yoshis I should know about? Question mark. Should we haven't talked to him in a while? It's been so long. I'm also wondering if I should, I myself should rebrand. I've talked about it like last year. But this year, Boo was like, Ruyo. And I was like, what if I just called myself Ruyo Puyo? It's perfect. <laughs> Incorporates the Sona name, as most people end up doing on Twitch and stuff. So, maybe. It's, it's just a bit more easy to identify than usually 100 underscore hours. Or hours, sorry. Oh, I love you guys too. Oh, big hug, everyone. Including you, Spring. September will have a real expert bracket? Yeah, expert bracket, hopefully. Next next time on Puyo Puyo Tetris 2. <laughs> this is a funny I one. Nice. Okay, so before everyone goes, I need to go hurry up and do the. Hold on. Alright. 
um, and of course, thank you guys for joining in, in the first place. Um, you, without you guys, again, these tournaments wouldn't have been possible anyway, right? Like, we need participants. So, thank you all for the joining us today, giving us a chance to actually do this. It's It means a lot to us that people are actually willing to join these things and collaborate as a community. It's so exciting. The future's looking bright. Seed number three, who's that? That's Bubba. Bubba gets the the raffle prize. Hello, can I Discord? There we go. So, um, alongside that, let's have a look at the winners. We got Hiku with a clean 5-0. Nice work from Hiku. Dido Dan with a 4-1. Um, because Hiku beat Dido Dan 10-7. Nice work there. Third place, we have Lunard with a 4-1. And fourth place, we have Alexis with a 4-1 as well. Very nice work from everybody today. That was epic. Ha 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 ha, epic monthly. Uh, the month is going to PPT2 once the game drops, or will they stay on PPC? Um, it's up in the air. It depends on how good the PvP is and the sort of support that Sega will be giving, because we want to kind of align our goals with Sega's, right? Um, it's how we're going to get the most support, so we'll see once that rolls around. Um, PPC is cheaper as well, which is definitely a consideration. Yeah, requiring a cheap game is good again, perhaps. Yeah, rip point of us, right? PPC is probably here to stay for Puyo. We'll see, we'll see. Spectator mode, the main draw of that game is null now. Yeah, if... If, uh... If things keep going well, and they do a really good job on PPT2, then we might move over. But again, it's something that we'll figure out when we get there. Aww, no problem, Malachi. <laughs> uh, we're all... We're all, like, linking each other into this thing. Pulling each other in, and... It's like... Okay, you know what? Okay, here's the original shout-out. This is where I got into my second phase, right? Original shout-out to that one guy on YouTube who had a tutorial on how to download Puyo Fever PC. That's how I got here. Because it was one of those people who didn't even... They recorded um, their typing, right? Like, this is a video on how to get Puyo Puyo... Fever for PC, and they directed me to Puyo Nexus, and that was my first point of exposure to it. it was Puyo Nexus? That's how I found out about the online community by that one huge. I don't know if it's out there still. I don't know what I would have looked up for. I don't know what the video title would have been. Maybe one day I'll be able to find them. I probably won't. <laughs> but if I ever found out who that person was, I need to give them a huge hug. Small YouTube comment section, indeed. A little worried about PPT2, PPT2 splitting the player base. We'll just have to wait and see. Again, it is a bit scary, but... Yeah. Prim Dana not altered in PvP on PPT. Uh, it is altered in the original PPT. Um, but, we'll see how it works in PPT2, because... Um, like, considering they're splitting up the matchmaking, hopefully they actually make Puyo work the same as usual. PPT2 skill battle monthly, so maybe we'll make the the December tournament skill battle. <laughs> I'll do some admin behind the scenes for you. Thank you, NN as well, actually. Um, 
for your work because just everyone so awesome Oopsies, sorry. Give me a moment. Um. Oh, I can't check the user tag unless I disable streamer mode. That's fine. I'll be alright. I will survive. I don't think anyone's messaging me right now. <laughs> Oh, never mind. Oh, Intermediate is still playing? Wow. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Oh, new skill battle. Hey, Puyo. Hey, Puyo official. Acknowledge the existence of Puyo Chronicles. A Puyo Chronicle. Someone was like, it's not new, and they're like, we know, we see you, Puyo Chronicle fans, and it's like, oh boy. <laughs> okay, I'll put on do not stop so I don't get notifications instead. Um, yeah, thank you, Tenen, as well. It does mess up PPT1, but hopefully they'll change it to PPT2 and balance it properly. Yeah, PPT will never be balanced, but I feel like the, p the place they have right now is one of the most. Well, it's definitely the best balance we've had, and might be the best it will ever be. If I still like in PvP, it's only so hopefully it will not be bound to PvP changes. Hopefully. He doesn't like you. Should I aware of feedback on the, about that? Absolutely. Alright. See you later, Alpha. Thanks for popping in. Yuji Squish. Good. <laughs> I was 5th, but I dropped to 7th. That's all good. That's some YouTube throwback stuff. Crazy, isn't it? Shout out to Notepad videos. Yes, it was a Notepad, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it was a Notepad. They have a 07 sound system? I wouldn't know. I d oh, could it have been Honan? I, d oh, I don't know. It could have been. You might be right. That would be crazy. YouTube for recommending the media battle of this bin for me to lead me to the spin Splatoon stream almost a year ago. Crazy. Thanks for the stream, Yoshi. No problem. Thank you all for watching as well. You've been making an enjoyable experience for me to commentate and again we're going to be hosting these monthly so make sure to tune in next time as well um make sure to check out the other people who are streaming as well mega missing no who rated us earlier um who else rated us earlier i'm so sorry uh sunny and sss thank you for the follows by the way um and then several others uh sorry as well sorry does pure speed running so that's different sorry summer they do speed running. I also do some speed running, but sorry, also the speed running. So you should check him out as well. Broken Uh also streams for you. Um, a bunch of other people in this tournament also stream for you. Um, you also have S2 obviously who also plays for you and streams it. So just check out all the Puyo people. We want all the support we can get for every single person in the community so that we can just keep growing. We need more names, I think. That's that's one thing as well. Like a community is often recognized by the names that represent it. So if we can get more recognition for each individual person it will help a lot. And I'm sure they'll appreciate it too. Favorite streamer? Aw, Spring, you're flattering me. <laughs> Aw. I love you guys. <laughs> I am doing my best spring. You are you seriously oh my gosh. You were too nice. Right, my senior in Smedia next time. Very epic. PT2 is set in Grimp. Uh, uh, there's a world in Grimp, but we don't know about. Well, it depends on what you mean by set, I guess. If if set means like, is one of the settings or like is the main setting? Because it it we can it's it shows that you can go between Grimp, Suzerain, and Tet Tetra something. I'm assuming that means Tetra spaceship. But I don't know, because it wasn't mentioned what that was. Like, uh, I don't know what it says. 
maybe it means Tetris world, maybe there's actually a Tetris world, who knows. But the, if you haven't heard, there's going to be like branching paths as well for uh, extra like sub storylines during the story, so that's going to be super exciting. Any more story? Mario Chronicle PC and Switchport? <laughs> Chronicle Universe, yeah. It, there's some sort of crossover. The World of Balance is dedicated to 2v2, it would actually be interesting playing that. You could already play 2v2, but it just followed normal versus rules and was designed around it. Yeah, it is a bit silly. Don't think you could have a queue for that. It'd be a bit wild. Stream Boy? Yes, Malachi also streams Boy, yeah. Boy and Tetris Skill don't scale linearly, so balance is impossible. Yeah, just have fun with the game. 20 others? Pair of Boyo shared garbage can a bonus synchronizing your attacks. That'd be interesting. <laughs> It's a shame we don't have a capture card. I know that's a drawback for a lot of people, so it's unfortunate. Keep going, but if you don't ask me to stop, I shall. Heckin' too kind. Got a cool setting is if you want set piece, the tower exterior. The rest is like forest, wood, firewood, desert. What? You're, you're right, you're right, Nagel Farm. Good job. <laughs> Go to Tetris Water and meet the monkey from Sega Tetris. Yo. Yo. Travel to the world. Where TGM exists, go to the go to the random nature stuff from TGM one, go to that factory from TGM two, and go to space from TGM three. Perfect. Calling it a setting is generous. Mm. <laughs> right. Ooh, SC's got a very nice formatting thing for um going on for the uh tournament results. Um TC would never ever acknowledge that what exists. <laughs> You know, you just need Sega to just keep piling on with this stuff, maybe eventually. Start spring and continue for you, because Yoshi is my favorite person that exists. Gosh, you guys, you need to stop <laughs> before I explode. I wonder how far an intermediate actually is. Oh, they're on final round? Hold on a second. I'm just checking for anyone to host at the moment as well. Oh wait, if there's no one to host, I'll pass you guys to... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see, let me see. Okay. So, there is something you guys should watch. <laughs> if you're still streaming right now. Hold on, let me see, let me see. Um, He is still streaming. <laughs> okay, this is funny. Alright. Um, <laughs> of course he is, of course. It's an impossible challenge. 0.5% chance. Anyway. <laughs> oh, dang, he's still got six hours left. <laughs> oh, five and a half. Okay, so I'll, I'll pass you guys to that in a moment. Um... Oh, David Yoshi is my favorite person to boo. Wow, you guys. If that TGM4 is double and finished twice, and we blocked away in a vault so no one could ever play it, except at the test locations, eh? So sad. Intermediate has ended. Yo, GG's to everybody. Thank you all so much again for joining us. That was incredible. It's such a good experience seeing you all. I love you all so much. Keep playing and enjoying Puyo. We hope to see you guys again next month and perhaps throughout the month as well. Feel free to pop in here. My stream time is a bit of inconvenient for most time zones, so unfortunately it probably won't be that good, but you know, if I'm streaming, feel free to pop in. Fun 20 for sure. I'm glad that's the case for you. I'm decent at for you, maybe. <laughs> it's really got so much turnout too. Yeah, every bracket, well, except expert actually ended up being really full, and usually experts like the more. Well, okay, I'd say ad advanced is usually a bit more full than expert, but expert usually gets a pretty good turnout too. Here has been leaking out game builds and assets need to find TGM4, right? Gonna go to bed soon though? Yeah, I need a rest for like three hours and I have to wake up again. 
<laughs> uh, it's gonna be a long day, but it's all worth it. <laughs> um, I'm not sure how much I'll be streaming tomorrow, but I'll try and get a stream in. No, I'll definitely get a stream in. I'll definitely find the time to, but I can't confirm when I'll be streaming. Maybe in like 12-ish hours? There. <laughs> Maybe in 12-ish hours. Uh, yeah, no no problem with Zero. Alright, so, th <laughs> this is who I was going to pass you to. So, there's a really good Puyo player, his name is Fron. Nagulfa, do you know he's doing this right now? <laughs> I mean, you probably know that he's done this in the past, but... Uh, anyway, what he's doing is he's running a 24 win challenge, where he has to win 24 matches in a row in ranked, and he has 24 hours to do it. So, right now, his best is 17 wins in a row for this session, and um, he has five and a half hours left. So if you want just Puyo, more Puyo, for like another five and a half hours, um, you can tune in and like dr you can just tune in anytime during that block, obviously. So there you go, that'll be fun. I'll paste the link here. But yeah, I'll see you guys next month, or you know, if you're a regular, and I'll see you around uh, tomorrow or sometime before then. Fron is an error man. Fron is an error man. Well done, Nagulfar. <laughs> That's a reference no one will get. <laughs> yeah. Thank you again, Malachi. Thank you again for everybody who joined and organized the tournament. This is a really, really good experience. Um, yeah, I'll see all you guys. I'll see all of you guys again soon. For now, then, as always, I hope you all have a great rest of the day and night. Love you guys. And I'll see you all next time. I'd better go get some rest. <laughs> good night.